Alright, so this is the same guy, the Chun Li Guile player. You're gonna go to Chun Li again? I'm gonna try Bison, I think. That was head stop. Yeah. yeah, nothing I can do. Yeah, she's gonna be, but she's way better. Her normals are way better, and she's her jump kick stuffs his fucking psycho crush yourself. I didn't sweep. I tried standing roundhouse. Then I could do, and I'm done. It's over. Yeah, completely broken. Completely broken. She's way better than Bison in this game. Absolutely way better. So, can't pick him. Balrog sucks. You know, God, I'll be, I can beat her with Guile. I can beat her with Tanky. I can probably beat her with Ken. Oh, I didn't want Keith. Oops. Oh, now I got him. What? Why'd I get hit? Alright. What? I couldn't move. Got her, she's not dead yet though. Oh, never mind. What the fuck? That did a lot of damage. Holy fuck. Got her! Boom! Alex Master cheered. He says, what do you think are some of the most unfair matchups in Street Fighter games? I mean, pretty much any character who has a, a total zoning gameplay versus a character who has no projectile is always incredibly tough. Um, in addition to that, there's the fact that there are certain characters like Chun-Li. If you have a really good jump in and you can beat most other moves that other character has, if a character doesn't have a true reversal, they could get locked down by a lot of jump ins. And that's a major problem with characters in Street Fighter. If you don't have a true reversal, a lot of times you get locked in a, in a pattern or a, th a throw loop or something. Yes. Win. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Oh, you can. Nothing I can do. And jump. I didn't do that. I didn't sweep. Yeah, my moves are coming out three moves in a row. I went for a sweep, but I went for a punch. Neither of the moves came out. Lame. Round three. Fight. Fight. 
That's it. That's it. <clears throat> the old school wins again.